Hello, everybody. Welcome to the close-up gallery here at the world-famous Magic Castle. Are you ready for your close-up magic show? Thank you both for sitting there. Good luck. So, uh, before we start, please make sure all of your phones have been turned off or put on pleasure mode. And please put them away for the duration of the show. Also want to remind you there's no photography allowed here. That does include selfies. However, you will see this gentleman with a huge camera. He's the only one that's allowed to shoot in here. Uh, <laughs> you're so modest. Uh, and at the end of the show, please do not go out through this door that says exit. Instead, go out through that door over there that says nothing. <laughs> so uh, this performer you're about to see is one of the fastest rising stars in Singapore uh, with his... Uh, unique and uh, stylish kind of magic. Uh, he is currently on his second tour, performing tour here in America, but it is his first time performing here at the Magic Castle. Wow. Great for a treat. Yeah, Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Mingda! <laughs> How you guys doing? Yeah. Good crowd, okay. Very good evening, my name is Mingda. I come from Singapore, you can call me Ming. How many of you guys been to Singapore before? Oh, two. Okay, perfect. <laughs> now, today I'm going to show you, to start the show, one of my favorite tricks. It's inspired by one of my favorite magicians. His name is Albert Goshman. And he used to do this amazing thing with a salt shaker and a pepper shaker. Now, of course, today I'm not going to do the exact same thing, but I'm going to use something of mine. Jim Bean honey. Any of you guys drink this? <laughs> yeah, because if you drink that, you definitely need a glass to go with it. That's right. <laughs> now, when Goshman did this, he did not just use a salt shaker and a pepper shaker. He also used coins. You can check them out. Make sure that those are okay. These are American half dollars. These are your coins. You should know them better. Than <laughs> what he would do is this. He would take one, he would throw it in his hand and say, Can you say go? Go. Gone? Oh. You see where it go? Hopefully another. No, under the glass right away. Oh. Your turn. Take it, say go. Go. Not under the glass this time. <laughs> Not under the bottle this oh. time. Oh. Yeah. You know what? Let's try it with both. How about that? If I take this, say go. Go. Gone. Nothing over here. Or if I take this one, can you blow on it? Well, it goes right there. One under each. Thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> Now, sometimes people say this, sometimes they'll say, Hey, there's too many coins. It's hard to follow. <laughs> well, in that case, I'll keep one coin, leaving us with just one. And the glass. But some people still say this. Some people say, you can't really see the coin clearly when it's under the glass. Well, if I do it this way, definitely it's clearer. But not only that, you guys have an advantage because if I move the coin, you can hear it under the glass, right? So it's not possible for me to sneak it out if I want to. And I, of course, cannot just take it and just put it back in like that. It's not possible, right? <laughs> yeah. Do me a favor, hold on to it. Oh, too slow. It comes right underneath it. Having a good time? Why, you look shocked! <laughs> Having a good time? Perfect. Calls for another drink right over here. <laughs> This one's called a uh, teacher's blended scotch whiskey. Do you drink this? Uh, no, no. Do you drink this? Not really. No, don't worry. I got options for you if you need. <laughs> <laughs> How about you? You look like you could go for all of them. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You could go for all of them. One, two, three, four. Oh, <laughs> hey, that comes from. You know what? Maybe that's too much alcohol for the night. I'm going to keep this for after my show. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Now, magic is one of the oldest performing arts in the world. And one of the oldest tricks in the book is this thing called the cups and the balls. Have you guys heard of it? Mm -hmm. Perfect. I'm going to show you my version of it using just one cup and one ball. And I'm going to stand for this. It starts off like a guessing game. Very simple. There are only two places the ball can go. One is under the cup. <laughs> Two is in my pocket. And all you need to do is to just guess. Are you ready? Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> Are you guys ready? Yeah. Yeah. Perfect, let's start now. One, take it. Should the ball be now in my pocket or under the cup? Somebody say under the cup. You want to try again? 
<laughs> but don't worry, you should have went for your first choice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the first time is always harder. Look. <laughs> is it in my pocket or is it under the cup? Yeah, it's under the cup, by the way. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Some people think they know how it's done. Some people think that I take it, I put it in my pocket. There's a trap door that leads down my pants under the table, <laughs> underneath the cup. That's not how it works. You see. Some people think there's a trap door right here at the bottom of the cup where I can put it right through and it goes right through. That's not how it works either. <laughs> How it works is I put it in my pocket, I snap my fingers, or I'll make a magical gesture, and it appears right under the cup. Any questions? <laughs> <laughs> now, in fact, you, sir, you can try. Take the ball. Put it in the cup. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it. Really did it. All right. Pour the ball in your hand. Okay. All right. Put the cup mouth down here. And take the ball, put it in your pocket. All right. Right. You can put it in your jacket pocket, or you can put it in your pants pocket. It doesn't matter. Okay, and then you snap your fingers, oh, no. and it's gonna appear right under the cup. No, no. no way. <laughs> that would be good. Just give it a pocket Well, usually it works for me. I, say, I just put it in my pocket, I wait for a moment, and if all goes well, it comes right under the cup yeah. there. Thank you. But some people say this. Somebody say, hey, I think that maybe you may be using two balls. Two but here's the thing that I don't get. You see, even if I'm using two balls, how in the world is the second ball so much bigger than the first? Wow. <laughs> but that's not the biggest mystery, you see. The biggest mystery is this. How in the world did the ball get into the cup? Right? How did the ball get into the cup? Especially if there is a case in there. Oh. And I don't just mean this case, I mean this case. Oh. That is truly impossible. Is it possible? Let me show you. <laughs> I don't mean the cards. I mean that the cards coming out of the box, that's impossible. It's not possible for the cards to come out of the box, you see, especially if there's a nut in there. What? <laughs> okay. Just in case you're wondering, this is not like a sponge nut or collapsible nut like that. Yes, go ahead. Right? Make sure you knock it on the table. Make sure it's a real hard and solid one, right? Yeah. Yeah. You see, it's not possible with that size for the nut to come out of the box with the cuts in there. Right? right. Especially if there's a rope in there as well. What? <laughs> <laughs> Can you examine the rope? Make sure it's real. You know, no sleeps, no holes, everything okay. Really All good? Pretty, pretty ropey. <laughs> Very good. So many shows first respond that way. <laughs> okay. Look at this. Rope. Oh, yeah, you want to take it? <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, 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 no worries. Look, put the rope right through the nut, right over here, and I'm going to tie a bit of a knot right over here. See, it's not possible for the nut to come off the knot, right? No. Or not? Oh, oh. It's very good. Untie the knot, make sure it's not like a magic, you know, magic. magical <laughs> knot. <laughs> All good? All right. Now, sometimes people say this, sometimes people say, hey, it's not really fair because you are holding on to the rope the whole time. So maybe you hold on to this end. Yes. And uh, man, can you hold on to this end? Yeah. Okay, and I'm trying to just take it. Right oh. off. <laughs> the center. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to try to do this one last time as fairly as I can. <laughs> okay? Is that really on the rope? Yeah. Yes. Definitely on the rope. Can you pull on it? Make sure it doesn't come off by just pulling. Right? Yeah. Okay. Same thing for you. Just pull on it. Make sure it doesn't. Yeah, go easy. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> I need you to tie a knot over it. In fact, okay. tie a double knot if you can. Double knot? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, don't worry. Yeah. If the fingers turn purple, you stop. Right? <laughs> look, look, look. One, two. Right. Ooh. It comes off the rope, but not just that. It goes Ooh. up the stairs. <laughs> Across the room, down the stairs, to you. A bit nearer to me. <laughs> <laughs> Under the box. Oh. 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 Lift it up, I don't want to touch it. Right there, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> you like that? Yeah, that's great. You see, when magician takes out the deck of cards, 
most of the time, people know what's going to happen next, right? Especially if I do this. <laughs> okay, maybe not tonight. <laughs> We're going to need a card to be picked. Okay? <laughs> but maybe in a different way, okay? I'm going to drop the cards. I mean, you say stop wherever you want to, okay? Okay. Okay, go further. Stop. Oh, stop. Oh. Stop. Wait, I mean, mess that up a bit. One more time. Yeah. About now? Stop. <laughs> Is that okay? <laughs> you wanted to go for the top card, didn't you? <laughs> okay, good. Now, do not look at the card yet. Okay, none of us should look at the card. It's going to be a mystery card. But you see, the deck can give us hints as to what that card is. For example, if I were to turn over... Oh, a queen, right? It tells us that this card over here might be a queen. But of course, we're not sure yet. So we kind of need a confirmation for this. So if I cut the deck a few more times, five to the ten. And if that brings <coughs> another queen to the top, it tells us that there's a higher chance that this card over here is probably a queen. But I want to make a final confirmation. Okay? That's why if I cut the deck one more time, if that's OK. Right here in the bottom, Ooh. that's the last queen, the third queen actually, and that's the queen of diamonds. You've got the diamonds with clubs, the hearts, definitely that one should be the clubs, hearts, diamonds, that should be? Yeah, definitely. Let me see, I checked. Mm. Yeah, I think I should have it, the queen of spades. Can you go ahead, turn it around, show it to everybody, please? Queen of spades, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> what, I can't see. Oh, oh ace of spades. But it looks like you picked the wrong card. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't come from Singapore to make this mistake. Well, let's try to fix this. Um, if I do this. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> if that goes well, right over here we have the Ace of Diamonds, the Ace of Clouds, the Ace of Hearts. Thank you very much. Thank you. But I know this begs another question. If the aces are here, where are the? Where are the queens? Where are the queens? You see, the queens are the ladies of the deck. And they kind of like attention, which is why <laughs> in a party of 52, they tend to stand out from the crowd. Right here in the middle, there are four cards facing the other direction, and they happen to be the four queens. Thank you very much. Thank you. The first thing that people think of when they see playing cards is actually not magic tricks. It's actually playing. Because they are playing cards after all. And one of the most common questions that I get is this. Can you cheat at cards? Well, yes and no. So it's not exactly. Okay? But today I'm going to show you a little illusion of how we can switch cards. Which is a very important thing if you want to cheat at cards, right? Okay. I'll keep the rest of the deck away. We'll just use eight cards over here so that it's easier to follow that way. Okay? The queens and the aces. Let's see. Uh, you, sir, right in the middle. Can you please tell me, uh, do you prefer the queens or do you prefer the aces? Which one do you prefer, queens or aces? Aces. Aces? Okay, I'll use the aces. Here's what I'm, here's what I'm gonna do, okay? I'm gonna try to switch the aces for the queens. One by one, starting with this. If that goes well, right over here we have mm. first queen. Mm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's one down, three to go. The next one happens when I do it down on the table like this. And if all goes well, that's the second queen. <laughs> right over here, thank you. Two down, two to go. The last two is going to happen right here in my hands at the same time. No. Ah. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, what if this is a real card game and you are doing this and somebody calls you out and say, I think you did something fishy there. What do you do? No, I did not. No, you run, okay? <laughs> <laughs> because you did. Okay. But if you're good enough, you press the reset button right over here. Oh, come on, and no. if all goes well, your hand comes back to you. That's the point. Just thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
see the aces are here, we know that right here, from the very start, we do have the one, two, three, oh, four, four, four queens. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you guys have been a great crowd. So to end tonight's show, I'm going to show you something with the best cards in the deck. Any guesses? The Ace. best card. Yes, that's right, aces. <laughs> best card in the world. Yeah. Took a while, but you got it. You got it. That's the main thing. It's, uh, that's, that's all that matters, okay? We use the aces for this. Lay them down in a bit of a formation right over here. And we need some random cards for this. These other cards, they do not matter in the value, the number, or even the color. We just need them to be in small piles on top of each ace. So if I do... Yeah, I think that should be enough. Let's see. Three on each. The ace of spades is the leader of the aces because it's the biggest in size. It has the most ink on it. And most of the time, if you have the ace of spades, it's considered a very good hand, right? So the power with the ace of spades goes in a very safe and secure place right here in the card box. And you, sir, I need you to do me a favor. Help me hold on to it. Make sure I don't go near it, all right? You can put it in your pocket anywhere. It doesn't matter. Sounds good. Good. I'm going to stand up for this. The aces. Try something. Starting with the first one. Take it, put it right here. Give it a real rub like that. It goes. The second ace. If I take it. Oh, you guys are staring at yeah. like <laughs> Okay. If I turn it the other way, it's facing down now, right? We lose it right, maybe cut it in the middle, and we turn everything over. It should be facing uh -huh. up. That's right, you can still see it here. Look. But if I give it a bit of a shake like that, do you see it go? Because it's gone. Right over here. What? I no! Yes! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> the last ace is the most difficult one because you guys know what to expect now. And I'm gonna try. <laughs> I'm gonna try <laughs> to do this. One handed, okay? Mm, yeah. Still there? Yeah. Still there? Okay, <laughs> put your hand up. Okay, it's gonna happen right here in the fingertips. How? Is it? How? Oh, <laughs> out of sight, oh but gosh. not out of mind. So you have been holding the box the whole time. Oh <laughs> <laughs> Can you shake the box? Make sure the cards are still in there. If they are gone, you are a better magician. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Open the box gently. Oh, can you pass Someone the drink? Someone hold this drink. drink. Yeah, hold it. <laughs> Open it gently without looking at the cards. Pass them to me. The cards? Yeah, without looking at the cards. So, <laughs> the Ace of Spades, yeah. along with it. If this happens, this is a miracle. Right here with the Ace of Spades. I do have the Ace of Hearts, oh, no. the Ace of Clubs, oh, and the Ace amazing. of Diamonds. Yeah. Thank you! Yeah. I need to see that. This is the end of the show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for helping. Alright, dinner time. <laughs>